In today's side-splitting saga, prepare to embark on a journey where reality takes a detour down the winding road of absurdity. Patty's misfortune sets the stage for a rib-tickling escapade that'll have you questioning if you've stumbled into a comedy sketch by accident. So fasten your seatbelts, folks, because this joke is about to whisk you away on a whirlwind of hilarity. Stay tuned. Patty, bless his charred soul, found himself in quite the predicament after meeting an untimely demise in a fiery blaze. Now, imagine the scene. Flames dancing, smoke billowing, and poor Patty left roasted to a crisp. It was the kind of situation that would have made even the most seasoned mortician break into a cold sweat. Enter the morgue, that eerie sanctuary where human remains are stored like frozen dinners, waiting for their turn to meet their maker. In modern times, these macabre establishments have upgraded their facilities to include refrigeration units, ensuring that corpses stay fresh longer than your last grocery haul. Now, as fate would have it, Patty's two best pals, Seamus and Sean, were tasked with the unenviable job of identifying their dear friend's charred remains. Armed with a morbid curiosity and perhaps a hint of trepidation, they stepped into the morgue, ready to confront the grim reality of Patty's demise. Seamus, always the brave soul, took the lead as the mortician, a seasoned veteran in the art of anatomical pathology, revealed Patty's charred form beneath the cold, sterile sheet. Seamus remarked with a grimace. Yup, he's burnt pretty bad, roll him over. Now let's pause for a moment to appreciate the etymology of our morbid fascination. The term mortuary traces its roots back to medieval times, originating from the Anglo-French word mortuary, which referred to a gift from a deceased parishioner to their local priest. Meanwhile, morgue has French origins, once describing a section of a prison reserved for newly arrived inmates. As Seamus and the mortician turned poor Patty's body, a sense of dread lingered in the air like the faint scent of formaldehyde. But alas, Seamus shook his head in disbelief. Nope, it ain't Patty, he declared leaving the mortician scratching his head in confusion. Undeterred by his friend's puzzling proclamation, Sean stepped up to the plate, ready to lend his discerning eye to the task at hand. With a mixture of solemnity and gallows humor, Sean assessed the charred figure before him. Yep, he's burnt really bad. But as Sean examined the remains more closely and rolled him over, a realization dawned upon him like a bolt of lightning on a stormy night. No, it ain't Patty, he announced his voice tinged with a hint of amusement. Perplexed beyond measure, the mortician couldn't help but inquire, How can you tell? And in that moment, Sean delivered the punchline with the finesse of a seasoned stand-up comedian. Well, Patty had two arseholes. He proclaimed with unwavering confidence, leaving the mortician utterly flabbergasted. What, he had two arseholes? The mortician exclaimed, his mind reeling with disbelief. Sean replied, a mischievous twinkle in his eye. Yep. Everyone knew he had two arseholes. Every time we went into town, folks would say, here comes Patty with them two arseholes. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.